Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2, Midterm 2, Practice Problem Screencast, Problem 6.2. You will create an algorithm make tree of nodes with helper make tree of nodes, comma, low, comma, high, that takes a list of nodes where the kth object in this nodes array has a key field, which is the node's key, and a freak, short for frequency field, uh, which is its count of accesses. And so we're given that, we're given that array of nodes, and the indexes of the leftmost and rightmost nodes in the current subproblem, so low and high. And it should return the total cost of accessing all the nodes in the optimal tree built from nodes low up to high, so just this portion of the array. So the question is, why do we need two parameters to describe the subproblem rather than one? So if we can describe the subproblem with just one, and if we're doing, say, a dynamic programming solution, then we're going to be able to use a smaller table to solve this problem. So we'd like to use the smallest possible table that lets us solve the problem. So if we can do it with one parameter, it's, it's probably better. Let's take a look at why this would be. Using two parameters lets us pick out any arbitrary consecutive sequence of nodes inside the array. Using just one parameter, well, there's a variety of ways we could use that parameter, but probably it's only going to let us pick out all of the nodes from, say, you know, maybe it would look like nodes of whatever our parameter is up to the end, the very end of the array, or it would be nodes from one up to our parameter. So we're basically going to have one end or the other pinned to the start or the end of the array, and then the other end we can move around by using this parameter p. Again, you can imagine other solutions, but basically all the solutions you can imagine are going to have this flavor that there's only one thing we can move around because there's only one parameter. And is that enough? Well, if you look back up at the previous problem here, that's actually not enough for this one. This side, one of the sides is pinned. It's pinned to the start, but the other side moves around. We need to say 12 is the largest one we're interested in. The right-hand side, the end is pinned, but the start moves around. We need to say 19 is the start here. And actually, it's a little misleading to say that the, the left-hand side or the right-hand side is pinned to the edge of the array, because uh, let's say that we solve recursively the left-hand side, and we pick this node to be our root. Well, now we've got this as a subproblem here. And we've got this as a subproblem. We'll notice the left hand side of this subproblem is here, and the right hand side is here. So neither the left hand side nor the right hand side is out at the end of the array. In fact, as we build this binary search tree, we're going to end up with consecutive sequences of nodes that have not yet been put into the search tree. They're, they're sort of sitting, waiting to be organized. And that's exactly what we can describe with this low to high form. So the reason we need two parameters is because any arbitrary consecutive sequence within the original problem may be a subproblem. So that's really why, but let's explain a little further and it takes two parameters to specify all such subsequences or subparameters. 